Doug Sharples owner here. Uh, not my usual video, but after trawling through my records, I realised that I've got a million dollars in the bank and I had a garage in Portland doing nothing. What's the point in having a garage doing nothing? So, with me having so much money in the bank, I just decided that I'm going to fill that garage up. I'm going to get three new trucks and I'm going to get three new drivers. So, here I am at the Peterbilt dealership. And I've already decided what truck I'm going to get. I'm going to get the Peterbilt 389. More roof sleepers. I'm not giving them the expensive trucks. You know, the new drivers, they're going to smash up. And I'm going to put my livery on them. It's going to cost me ooh, about $600,000. So, these three new drivers had better take care of these trucks. This salesman swearing all his gubbins at me. I know what I want. I know what I'm getting. There's no need to carry on with it. You know, they're just going to try and sell me bigger upgrades and everything. But I'm not having it. I am buying these trucks. No matter what he says. That is one happy dealer. He's just reassured me that these three trucks will be delivered to my garage at Portland. Yes, sir. Let's see if he keeps up to his word. Now, let's see if we can get these new drivers and see what they're like. Manuel, you're just what we're looking for. You're hired. Welcome to the company. It's a brand new truck. Take care of it. I don't want to see any scratches, any dings on it, or you're out the door. Magnus, you're the best of a bad bunch, but you've got something about you. You're hired. Welcome to the company. Then replies, new truck, no accidents, no dents, or bye bye. However, I have to show some equality. You're hired. Welcome to the company. Please take care of my new trucks. Then replies, new truck, no accidents, no dents, or bye bye. Three new trucks, three new drivers. Get out there, make me some dollars.